All right, man. Uh, let's talk about Tank Raccooning and Buffooning and Buck Dancing again. Had to wake up, wipe the cold from my eyes. See who page me and why. It's that raccoon tank from the motherfucking midget shop. <laughs> you know, he, he dressed in a female section. I don't even make clothes big enough for him in the little boy section. That boy dressed a motherfucker size five in a dress. <laughs> Nigga got more hips than that supermodel chick, that uh, BB, uh, that BBW supermodel chick, Takara and shit, man. So I seen Fight High kind of uh, pop something off like this, man, and um, and uh, just to kind of talk about what I might have uh, coming up for the day, man. I might, I wasn't even gonna talk about this, but I might squeeze another video in there talking about uh, uh, Hashador Sanders and Travis Hunter. Did Cam Newton? I mean, I gotta tell y'all, man. Uh, me and the brother uh, uh, Adonis from Modern, he do the Modern Bruce Channel World Breaker, and um, we was talking, man. We was having a conversation, and another guy name came up, which I leave his name anonymous. It ain't nothing bad, but uh, yeah, his name came up or whatever, and um. He was telling, he was basically saying, you know, a lot of brothers wasting their time trying to save the community, bro. And he right. But I'm going to still point out the inconsistencies. So now people are kind of trying to point to anything to justify Ryan Garcia. Uh, that, that Devin not sue Ryan Garcia, right? Remember, Ryan Garcia was the same ones that said he wanted to join the Klan and send black people to the upper room. Ryan Garcia was the same dude who, who made them comments about George Floyd. Now, some people got an issue with George Floyd, you know, said he was this and that, and I'm not going to get into the dead. So Eric Park, which he had tied to his opinion, he looked to be Hispanic. Didn't Bill Haney say they were sending Devin Haney to kill Ryan Garcia? Didn't Ryan Garcia say on multiple times he was going to kill Devin Haney? But let's say he really wants Ryan to die in the ring. And I don't disagree. A piece of shit like Ryan should be dead. It's time to stop being meek and stop trying stop trying to be nice to these people because Ryan Garcia said it too. But the difference was <clears throat> you I don't know if y'all seen that movie that came out with uh Tom Hardy in it. Uh it was about the biker club. <clears throat> it was about the biker club, uh the bike riders, right? It was about this biker club in Chicago. I think they were stationed out of Chicago and legendary. I forget the uh, I'm gonna tell bring it up. Uh, I actually went to see this and uh, it was in 2003. Damn, I, well, I feel like I seen that this year. Yeah, 2004. They tripping. Uh, yeah, I seen that this year when it came out. So it was about a Midwestern bike, uh, you know, motorcycle club, the Sinister Gang, and you know, pretty much how they started. So they had these rules where another member, even from another chapter, can challenge, can challenge. The leader, you know, of the whole gang and stuff, which was Tom Hardy, who started it and everything. So the kid said, basically, he asked him, you want a knife fight or you want bare knuckles or something like that? So he, they set up a knife fight, right? I'm not going to get into the whole thing. So when he got to the knife fight or whatever they thought they chose a knife fight, they got there. He turned around and faced his opponent. His opponent just shot him. The opponent shot him, didn't give him a fair one. And he took over his gang that way. Now, with some more stuff that happened before that, but it's the same thing. Okay, I came in the ring. We said a bare knuckle fight, eight ounce gloves, hand wrapped. I came in the ring fair and square. Ryan Garcia didn't. He came in with a gun and shot him, just to use the goddamn analogy. Now, team saying Haney said they could have died and won the suit. Absolutely. You could have died because he cheated. You know how people, and this is why I always say online, when you hear somebody's side of the story, especially these female side of the stories, you got to hear both sides of the stories. And then you could be like, okay, I, I get it. All right. See, let Eric Park tell it. Let Eric Park tell it, right? Um, if that was the story and everybody was clean, you would be like, yeah, Eric Park got a, you know, Eric Park got a, uh, he got a point, you know. But since Eric want to get on the, get on the, uh, on the internet and still, and still tell and stop telling and start telling half uh, truths, he could be Erica Parks, you know, he could be Erica Parks just like. Javanta, Javante, or Javantia, that's what his name is. Oh, crazy how life works. He still ain't said nothing to T.O. He still ain't said nothing to T.O. 
T.O. just called him just called him out again, and he still ain't said nothing to Tia Female Lopez. He said you protected and all that. Like I told y'all, man, Tank Davis is is a bitch. There ain't no way around it, bro. He a little short, little bitch. He want to drain people. He want to inflate people. And watch, when it's his turn, when he finally find a popular Hispanic to go against or he do something and these people turn on him, he going to be trying to go back to the community every time. Watch, I said the same thing about Mayweather. I said the same thing about Mayweather. Mark my words. When they get Mayweather for keeping all them hoes around, and one of them hoes, you know, cry he did something, he going to be trying to talk about, I'm a proud black man, and I know my community. Nah, man, I'm, I'm off that shit. I'm off that shit. I'm off that. And like I said before, this is the same Tank Davis who say, oh, this guy too big, or this guy, oh, he, oh, man, he, he, he hydrated this. He the most scariest boxer in history. He the most scariest boxer in history. And let, let's keep it a whole being. He the most scariest boxer in history. And like I said before, they just jealous of Davis. It's funny, Keyshawn Davis, Javante Davis, the Davis boys just jealous because they ain't had no daddy. But they'll never be like, hey, Ma, why you choose this ninja? Where my daddy at? They just assume the daddy ain't shit. And I have seen that before. Like I told you, I had a homeboy and his brother, you know, his dad wanted to sit down and talk to him. His homeboy, you know, my boy didn't want to do it. His half-brother sat down and talked to him, took a picture with him, and got some peace of mind. They had two different mamas. They had a peace of mind. But my boy didn't want to hear it. He didn't want to hear it. I mean, look here, man. I ain't never talking to nobody and doing no shit they ain't want to do. So I, ain't, I wasn't even like, hey, man, I think you should go. Nope, not my, not my stance. I've been done helping niggas. Not my stance. Not my stance. You know, I should he had hit hard on my absolutely. I think everybody deserves a chance to be held heard out. That's just my opinion. But like I said before, you can tell these dudes don't have father figures. And I tell you this a lot of times a woman without a man, you know, they lost. You know, they lost. They get under any leadership. If most women was under, they, the black, black women was under leadership of men, they wouldn't be going for Kamala Harris. I'll tell you that right now. You know, they wouldn't be with the Democratic Party. They wouldn't be married to them. I'm not saying they wouldn't choose certain Democratic people. That's why you got so many raccoons, because women can be easily swayed with words. Go to church. Women can be easily with fin finesse. Look at all the bum niggas they with. They come in and out. Look at Tank. I ain't got no daddy, so I'm jealous of Bill. But the difference is this. Even if Devin went in to kill that Mexican, which I don't disagree with at this point, send that hoe to the upper room, he did a fair and square. This dude came into the ring and cheated. This one thing said, I'm going to kill you and do this, that, and the third, but then you literally cheat to do so. You cheat to do so. See, I can like, well, you only had a little bit. don't matter. Like I said before, if you have uh, a point one over the legal limit, and you hit somebody and kill somebody, nigga, that's a DUI. You going to jail? You still legally drunk? And all he did with the illegal IVs, which I got the lawsuit, I got to go through it and read it. I got the full pay lawsuit. You know that with the IV was telling you they was flushing it out of the system, but y'all don't y'all ignore the facts and y'all don't know the facts about how the body worked. And everybody could say, well, you know, Devin think he a gangster. Devin did. No, okay. Now, Devin do it the legit, the legal way. Now, it's, it's, it don't matter what he do. And Golden Boy apparently getting sued, too. It don't matter what he do. And, you know, I got word that they upset that their community turned on them. Hey, man, like I said before, that can, black community is done. Stop looking for unity from the black community. It ain't no community, uh, y'all. There's only community if Devin was six feet in the in the dirt, and then people would be like, "Oh man, I feel bad for Devin," and you know, damn, you know, this fucked up. That's the only time. That's the only time. Like I said before, don't these these niggas that y'all dealing with on on the internet, bro? They won't keep the same energy to your face. I'm just keeping it real. So, you know, at the end of the day, Tank gonna have his day. It's going to have a day where he's going to tell him, I'm a black man like Tiffany Henyard. You doing this to a black? Absolutely not. 
His trainer be out here buffooning and raccooning. He be out here buffooning and raccooning. That's just the way it is, man. We all be looking like, get y'all a solid, few solid people that believe in what you believe in and rock out. You can't save black people. If the police going upside their head, hey, man, keep it moving. What the pimp C said, guard your, he said, guard your paper, guard your life. You know what I'm saying? Whatever he said, keep your pistol, fuck a fight, because most of these niggas ain't living right. Don't, don't worry about the next person. My own thing is this. If you ain't my immediate family, if you ain't a child, that's it. Or you ain't the girl I'm with at the time, that's it. You don't, I'm not helping you. I ain't help you at all. I ain't help you, you at all. Or I'm one of my close, close friends. Man, hell no. Nah. I ain't help you niggas at all. Fuck, fuck, fuck that. I'm telling you that right now. I ain't help y'all niggas at all. If you ain't the homie, or the true homies, or you ain't a close friend, friend, a child, or the person I'm with, or media family, oh, that's a wrap. I ain't help you niggas out here no more. Absolutely not. Man, I, hey, I might help the police stump you out myself. Especially if it's tank. She hold on, pull it back. Let me piss on this nigga. Give me a match. <laughs> I can't stand niggas like Tank, man. I swear to God, I can't. I don't even know how God let niggas like him walk on the planet of the earth. I can't wait till he lose. If it's in the courtroom or it's outside the courtroom, <laughs> it don't matter to me. Can't wait till he lose. Because you know he ain't going to fight nobody. But hey, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video. Uh, financially, you want to support the channel, cash up, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link, description, the link tree, find me on X, Spotify, Anchor, cash up, Venmo, PayPal, Amazon Music, Kick, Twitch, the whole line. Check out the Patreon, won't be disappointed. Peace.